Hey guys, welcome in. We're gonna talk about two different file formats today that the Canon EOS R system uses. You can record in either all I or IPB. Which one are you gonna use? What do they look like? What are they actually doing? We're gonna dive into that right now. We have an, we ha apparently we have an intro. All right, guys, welcome into my channel. Uh, this is my very first video, so maybe subscribe or comment below how we can make this thing better. I just, I just want to grow, you know, nice and slow, maybe with some like soft R&B music and a couple glasses of wine. All right, so let's talk about these file formats. We have All I and IPB, so we need to understand what they're actually doing. So let's start with IPB. Okay, so IPB, what it's doing, as it records frame by frame, and right now I'm recording at 24 frames per second, it's taking that initial frame, and let's call that an iframe. And after it records that iframe, it's gonna move on to the next frame, and it's gonna calculate what information is actually gonna be there. And as it moves down the line, it keeps doing that, but then it starts looking behind itself. So that B and IPB stands for bi-directional. So it's looking both ways to calculate what that frame is gonna look like by pulling information from left and right. Now, in a scene shot like this, if it changes, let's say we jump to the beach, that iframe is gonna start over and then that same process is gonna start all over again. So you get more of a compressed file. Okay, so now let's talk about all I. What is that actually doing? This one is actually a lot easier. It's taking that first initial frame, that I frame, and as it moves along and records these frames, they're all independent. So it's gathering as much information as possible on each one of those frames. So it's less compressed. It's actually bigger, three times bigger. Okay, so now we know what these file formats are actually doing. Now, why would you use these file formats? Let's start with IPB. Well, if I wasn't worried about color grading or if I was worried about saving space or if I had a lot of shots that weren't moving around like this, that would be a good reason to use IPB. Okay, so now let's talk about all I. Why would you use all I? Well, here's a great reason. Let's say you love color grading. I'm just getting into color grading. You have a lot more information to work with, so you would pick all I. Or if you wanted a really clean resolution and you had a lot of scenes whipping around, let's say you're in a car scene, a car chase, or you're at the ocean pounding waves, you'd wanna capture those frames with the most information as possible so you get a really clear shot. Okay, so now we know what the file formats are doing. Now we know why we would use one versus the other, but we still have not seen what they look like. So I'm gonna go outside and I'm gonna record some all I, IPB, and I'm just gonna ABM, ABM, ABM back and forth so you can get a reference of what they actually look like. So I'm gonna record a short sequence. I'm gonna play it right now. See if you can notice a difference. And if you can, maybe leave a comment below. Um, I would love to know your opinion if you can visually see it. I have a hard time seeing it, but one looks a little better than the other. I'll let you decide and uh, we'll play that sequence right now and then we'll come back. All right, so could you see the difference? Could you tell? 
Um, if so, like I said, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. I want to do more videos like this, so subscribing and comments are going to kind of motivate me right now. And uh, we'll just keep tackling the EOS R and other, and just go through all the features, really. Um, until then, I'll see you next time. Live, love, laugh, learn, all that stuff. And uh, cheers. See ya. Thank you.